Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about the second problem from the latest Code Forces round 842 problem name is Quick Sort. So let's start. So you are given a permutation P of length N. Permutation is just an array you can say with all numbers from 1 till N like in a jumbled form. Okay, so let's say permutation of size P has all numbers from 1 till N in a jumbled form. Okay, that's a permutation. In one operation, what you can do is that you can choose K distinct elements. K is also given to you in the input. You can choose any k elements out of this whole permutation that is given to you. You will remove them from the array that you have and then and then what you will do, you will add the sorted form of the removed elements at the end of this permutation. Okay, you will keep on doing this. So let's take an example of this, that this is the p, this is k. You will choose 5 and 3 as the element of the operation and then push it at the back. So what you will do is that if you take this as an array and if you choose let's say 5 and 3, you will take out and you will like sort both of them that is 3 and 5 to sort it in this manner now and it is pushed at the end. You will keep on doing this operation until the whole array becomes sorted. Okay, in an increasing manner. And you have to run the minimum number of operations required to perform and to complete this whole procedure. That's the whole thing. Now, uh, you might be thinking how we can do that. But for always thing, let's take small examples to understand that. Uh, let's clear this out. Let's take uh, array this only. That is 2, 5. 1, 3, 4. What you can observe here is that I want to sort it in an increasing manner, which means that because it's a permutation, the sorted is always same, which means that the sorted will be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And thus, 2 cannot be before 1. So I have to choose all the numbers before, let's say, 1 and put it at the very end. Okay. So let's say I will just choose them and it will become like, let's say like this, 1, 3, 4, because I can choose two elements only. It will become 1, 2, 1, 3, 4 and 2, 5. Still sorted, but I can do that. Now what you can do is that, but is this a good choice? Like putting this is a good choice. Uh, no, why? Because see, what we have done is that we have taken, like this the complete section. But what we could all, like what you could have also done is, So as you can see that one is at its correct position. Let's say one is at the correct position. I will change choose two and three. Okay. And what I'll do is that I will put two and three at the back. So it will become like this. It will become, let's say five will even at this position because I've not touched it. One, then you have choose that you have chosen four because three is outed and two and three in the sorted manner. Okay. Then what you'll do, you will now choose four and five and take it out at the very end. It will become one, two, three, four, five. And that tells the answer is this and you have done it in two steps. I hope you get the point. So what you can observe from this is that I am choosing the number which are not at that correct position. And if the, if the numbers are at the correct position, then we will not choose them. Let's take a larger example to understand it more clearly. Let's say that I have numbers like this. One, then let's say two, then let's say three, let's say four, five, six, seven. Okay, what you can observe is, and let's say k is equal to 2 again here. So what you can observe, easily observe here is that if I choose these two numbers, so 1, 2 and 3 are in the order only. So I will just change the numbers that are not in the order, that are coming between them because in the end it should be 1, 2, 3, 4. So all the numbers that are coming in not the order, I will take them out and put it at the very end. And I will keep on sorting them. So whatever number are not in the order, let's say three. So let's say I will first choose four and five, put it at the very back, wherever they are. Then I will choose six and seven, put it at the very back. And that's it, they are sorted. So it means that how will I know which numbers are in the order? You can just use a for loop over this whole array. Okay. And just use some, let's say some pointer that is initialized, let's say one. So I will just check, okay, I have seen one. Then the next element I should choose is two. Next element I should choose is 3 and whatever elements are in between them, they are not in the correct order. Okay, because if I have 1, 2, then 3 and then 4, 5. So which means that 1 and 2, 3 are in the correct order or 4 and 5 are not in the correct order. So whatever numbers are not in the correct order, I will just get the total out of it. That's like the numbers that are not in the correct order. And I just have to take those numbers in chunk. So let's say I have the total of k elements I can choose in one chunk. So how many number of times I will do? these chunks out okay i will just divide it by two so let's say the number is two and i have to like do it in the chunks of k 
So two divided two divided by k, I will just find out that. But what you can do is that I will choose in a like a bunch of k, but this will like uh, overshoot because what will happen is that uh, let's say let's just take an example that uh, okay let's say that this is three and this is two. I have chosen a bunch of two and I have three elements. So the first two can be grouped together, but the last one I have to do it in a separate manner. So for that also I have to take consider. So I have to add k minus one at the end. Okay, or what you can do is this, you just have to find out actually the seal of it. Whatever number is, let's say the total number of elements that I've counted that are not in the correct position is, let's say, let's say x. So x divided by k is the answer, but the let's say the, uh, you can say the uh, seal, of, seal of it. That you just have to find out. So for that, you can directly just use this formula. That is, let's say, x plus k minus 1 divided by k. Okay, that's it. That's what you can do to find out the seal and that's the particular answer for this particular. That's it. So let's move on to the code part now. What you can observe is that what we have done is that is input of n and k to insert all the elements in the array. Then this is nums and this is the total. Nums is that we have started the elements in the order and total is the number that are not in the correct position. Then iterate over the whole array from left to right. If the ith element is equal to num, which means that it is in the correct order. I will not in, in like add it in the total and just increment my num that okay I found out one let's find out two let's find out three and so on because that should be in the order but the all elements that are not in the order will be incremented in count like in the total okay so we have the total number in the dot are not in the order then the answer is total plus k minus one divided by whole k that is taking it in bunch of k's and just uh, like taking it out from the whole array and just like left like left the one that are in the order and take out the one that are not in the order and like sort them and push it at the end and just got that that's it. That's the correct logic and the good part for this particular problem as well. If you still have any doubts, you can mention in the comment box for this particular problem. I will see you in the next one day coding and bye.